students here there. I'm Connor Klein, I'm a student PT here at ADU, and I just want to say thanks for joining me. I guess while I have you guys here, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some wheelchair mobility things. But to be able to start off, I'm just going to go ahead and go over some terms with you. So right here, this is a push room. This is what you're going to use to propel the wheelchair to be able to go forwards and be able to go backwards. And then what we're going to do with this is we're going to use this as a clock. So it's going to have, uh, just like the clock, it's going to have numbers on it, but it's just going to be opposite from a normal clock. And I'll show you what I mean. So this is going to be 12 on a clock. This would be 1, this would be 2, so on and so on. This would be 10, and then this would be 11. The reason I'm saying that is this is just what's going to help us uh, to be able to say what we're doing. So now to be able to go forward, what we're going to do is we're going to start our hands at 10, then we're going to go to 2, and then that's, what gonna, that's what's going to cause us to be able to propel forward. When you're doing that, you want to be able to make sure you have nice, long, smooth strokes, and then you're going to let go at 2. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that. So it's 10 to 2, and a nice, long, smooth stroke. If you do uh, short, small strokes, you're not going to go very far. You just don't have the momentum for it. Now, it's, uh, to be able to go backwards, it's just pretty much the reverse process, but it's the exact same thing. So you're going to start at 2, you're going to go to a 10, you're going to have a nice, long, smooth stroke, and that's what's going to cause you to be able to go backwards. Another thing with wheelchairs is I'm going to show you guys how to turn. So to turn, there's pretty much two ways to do it. You can be able to hold on to this left uh, push room, and then you can push forward on that right, and then that's what's going to be able to cause you to turn. And then the other way you can do it is if you wanted to be able to turn narrower, you can be able to pull back on this left push room, so 10 or 2 to 10, and then uh, push forward on that right, and then that's just going to cause you to be able to almost do like a pivot. And it's just going to cause you to turn right on the spot. And that's pretty much it for turning. The other thing we can go over is doing a wheelie. So to be able to do a wheelie, what you're going to do is you're going to have your momentum go backwards, and then you're going to be able to go forwards, and then when you go forwards, that's what's going to prop you up into that wheelie. So what you do is you start at 2, you're going to go to 10, and then you're going to go right back to 2, and that's what's going to prop you up. Now, to be able to maintain that wheelie, it's all about balance. That's really all it is. But when you're doing a wheelie, and when it's your first time, you want to make sure you have a spotter there for you because you don't want to be able to fall. For some wheelchairs, you can also install anti-tippers, and then those are just wheels that will prevent you from tipping all the way over. Other than that, that's pretty much it for a wheelie. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to open a door with a wheelchair. So now that we're at the door, um, pretty much what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open this and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to use the wheelchair legs to be able to open up the door. This, that's why they have metal on these doors for people with assistive devices so they don't damage the door. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and open this door and then I'm just going to use the wheelchair legs to be able to help me get out this door. Other than that, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and I'll see you guys outside to be able to go over some more stuff. Good, you guys made it outside. Let's uh, be on time next time, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna head, go ahead and we're gonna go down an incline. So now there's a couple ways to be able to go down an incline. So what you can do is you can just be able to hold on to the push room, and then depending on how tight your grip is, that's what's gonna control your speed going down. So if you have a looser grip, you're gonna go faster, and then if you have a tighter grip, you're just gonna be able to go slower. Now what we're going to do is we're going to show you a different way. Another way is just to be able to use your feet as you go down. This would be used for a steeper slope, and then this is just going to help you control that momentum going down. What you can also do is you can be able to go zigzag down a steep slope, which is obviously what we have right here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do a zigzag. I'm going to start right, and I'm going to go left. And then what that does is it just helps me control that momentum going down. And then what, now what we're going to do is we're just going to be able to go up. So now there's pretty much just two ways to be able to go up. You can just go up normally depending on how steep the slope is. And then you can also just do another zigzag pattern. So what you do is you go right, and you're just going to go ahead and you're going to go left. And then you'll just follow that process up until you got up. Other than that, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and meet you guys back inside. Oh good, you guys were on time this time. Very good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to open this door. So to be able to do that, we're just going to go ahead we're going to pull that handle. We're going to pull it open and then we're going to use the wheelchair to our benefit again. So I'm going to go ahead, open that door, we're going to go ahead and push out. We're just going to turn that wheelchair in and then use that wheelchair if I need to. is that the wheelchair has brakes so anytime you're not using it you should go ahead and put those brakes on then you're not going to go ahead and go anywhere and that's pretty much it thanks for watching